Hello everyone and welcome to 90 Degrees, providing you tips for elevating your design career. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. My name is Alberto Orsini and today we're going to be talking about why I switched to Figma, finally. So let's get something clear right off the bat. I do not hate Sketch. I've been using Sketch really since 2012, so I, I guess I would be considered kind of like an early adopter. And I've created many, many teams for different companies all using Sketch. I think Sketch is a very robust uh, tool that allows you to do many things that are necessary in the day-to-day -day of a designer. Uh, but during this pandemic, you know, a lot of things changed for me, really. I moved from being a team leader to having to be a solo freelancer, etc. Uh, so there are five things that really made me consider Figma and move away from Sketch. And now I am a believer, you know, I'm a, I'm a Figma user right now. Number one is the ability to have everything cloud-based. Now at the beginning, when Figma first came out, you know, their value proposition really centered around having everybody be in the, on the cloud, designing at the same time, which gave me major designer anxiety. At the time I was traveling a lot as well. So something that was cloud-based and I, that I couldn't have files installed in my computer and work from locally, you know, really gave me a lot of anxiety. Of course, you know, they later added the ability to have stuff online and really sync when you uh, went online, but that wasn't something that really prompted me to make an early switch. Fast forward to today, however, files increasingly get really, really large, especially if you're dealing with a lot of images, uh, especially if you're dealing with ma big master files. Uh, so the ability to have everything live on the cloud as opposed to locally starts sounding really, really good. And the app just feels snappy overall in comparison to Sketch. Uh, you know, so that was definitely one of the big drivers. Number two is actually related to number one in terms of collaboration, something that didn't really interest me before. Now I face a new reality where me as a freelancer from home, I have other people working with me, uh, be it designers or developers that need to be in the file. So they're not necessarily moving buttons and boxes at the same time as me. However, they can see my breakdown and they can go directly on the file, add comments, etc. So that type of collaboration is something that I didn't have really with Sketch and I relied on other tools like Envision to be able to upload, you know, through Craft, upload from Sketch to Envision, have people go into Envision, uh, dismiss that the fact that they could create an account and start commenting. It, it just felt like a lot or it didn't feel like a lot at the beginning, but now with, with these new options that Figma offers, I guess, you know, they're not really new, but new for me, you know, it re it's really transformational in the way that I can collaborate with other designers and developers. Number three is really mood boards. I was using, I was heavily using, uh, there's a, this, this uh, extension called Nice with two eyes. I had been using uh, that a lot in the past to build mood boards and invite, you know, clients, stakeholders and other designers in. I also tried Envision boards, but nothing really offered the flexibility and felt very disconnected uh, from my design file. And the fact of the matter is the reason why you're building a mood board to, or why I was uh, building a mood board to begin with was really to inform my design decisions inside of the design software. So I often had to have windows side by side. It was kind of cumbersome. And with Figma, you know, I'm able to grab everything and dump it into my design file and have it hover around my, my files. So if I want to, you know, look at different styles to inspire what I'm creating, if I want to grab some measurements because I saw an app or a website that felt really nice and I kind of want to mimic the layout, I'm able to do that in a much better way by having those coexist with my design file. Number four is really related to number three in the sense that once I build my mood boards uh, within, within Figma, I'm able to send a link to my stakeholders, to my clients, to my other designers, and we can go through it together as we meet. Or I can use something like Loom in order to give them a walkthrough of my thought process within the design file so I can jump back and forth. But really, it gives them the ability to jump into the design file itself, to jump into the mood board itself, and again, uh, add comments and all of those comments are captured in a place where actually they become actionable items for me. 
Uh, so rather than having to fetch through multiple tools, et cetera, I'm bringing everyone in into the same ecosystem. Number five is really something that people don't often talk about, but with the ability to collaborate on the same file and bring everything together, uh, really Figma is a great way to do requirements gathering. So people dumping in images, you know, writing out relevant pieces of text that are, uh, that are going to be part of your design file, bringing in copywriters and, and adding notes so that they can uh, fix the, the, the text inside of the design file and overall even create flow maps or, or mind maps in order to define what it is that you're designing in collaboration with your product people, with your uh, developers, in collaboration with your clients, with your stakeholders. It just, it's such a well-rounded tool and they've arrived at a point where even without discussing topics around prototyping, for example, even without even discussing the fact that two designers can design at the same time, you know, and, and have an arrow battle or a pointer uh, battle inside of, uh, inside of Figma, even without those that are value propositions and they use within their sales, I, I just find the tool very, very valuable. And at the end of the day, as a solo freelancer, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, it just means that I'm paying for a single tool, whereas before I had all of these licenses and this myriad of, uh, of, of products that I had to keep track of. And now just a single payment and it really encompasses a lot of the use cases uh, that, I need to, that I need to satisfy on my new day to day as I adapt to working from home and, and uh, working in my own company. So definitely those are the top five things why I decided to finally, <laughs> you know, uh, switch from Sketch to Figma. And it's really all about optimizing my workflow. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.